Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 30th of August 2022 and just back this afternoon from a little two night journey away. Lorraine and I are doing a series of these little micro adventures at the moment, just making the most of the summer really. And we took the bicycles up on the train to Cambridge of all places, which is a real centre of cycling. Anyone who's been to Cambridge will sort of know that there's zillions of cyclists all around that place. And so we had a good time exploring the city and also some of the cycle routes uh, kind of heading out of the city as well to other places. So we probably got in a good uh, 30 miles all told because it's about a six mile cycle ride from where we live to our local station. Uh, so that's 12 miles there and back. And then while we're there, we probably did, I don't know, getting on for all around 20 miles. So it is really great. Uh, feeling, a bit, uh, feeling a bit saddle sore at the moment though. Although, and we didn't get off to the best start because on the way down to the station, one of the bikes got a puncher. <laughs> great start, but... Uh, we got up to Cambridge because we weren't far from the station when that happened and got up to the station and although I could have done the job myself I didn't really have adequate tools on me at the time and I couldn't really be bothered with it so this cycle shop that wasn't too far from the station and where we were staying actually uh, sort of did it for us for the grand total of uh, 12 quid plus the cost of uh, the new inner tube that uh, I bought as well. So I thought that was a very good price and they turned it around really quickly. I, I did explain, you know, we we're on a, uh, a trip up to Cambridge and they said, well, we can't guarantee anything, but we'll, we'll do our best. And the sort of yesterday morning, it was ready by about half past nine, 10 o'clock sort of time. So that was really good. So I'll give a shout out to a company called Cycle King in Cambridge. They were superb and you've got to shout out good service when you get it. So getting back, I was looking into a few of my Telegram groups. Uh, yeah, getting back into the swing of things. And there is four good bits of news there. But a fifth good bit of news is, well, I think I said in my last video that I thought Cambridge was going to be, uh, yeah, real sort of lurgy fanatics and all of that. Um, not really any more than anywhere else, as far as I could see. I know these university towns are supposed to be a nightmare with that kind of thing and wokery and all the rest of it. Um, but I was very surprised to see flying over the station, not the flag of a certain Eastern European country that I won't mention, and not a certain other flag that, again, I won't mention, uh, that tends to sort of fly here, there, there and everywhere, but the good old Union Jack. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that. That was really, really good. Uh, so moving on to the first good bit of news is I saw Ron DeSantis did a speech and he said that the uh, Whiskey Echo... Foxtrot, that organisation, are basically not welcome in Florida. It, to use his words, he said that their policies are dead on arrival in Florida. So I thought that was excellent. He's really calling out these Muppets for the, uh, uh, you know, what they really are. And if only other places followed suit, because these people... Uh, or that organisation, believe you me, they're not good news. And if you're a politician of this country watching this, I doubt there is going to be anyone like that watching my videos, but if there is, you need to ask yourself the question, what does Ron DeSantis know about the Whiskey Echo Foxtrot that you don't? And start doing a bit of research, that's all I'd suggest. 
So moving on to the next good bit of news, uh, the Met Police are getting a hammering at the moment from the courts. First of all, you had the Sarah Sarah Everard thing. You remember when she was murdered, they had a vigil for her in in her memory. And the Met Police went in there heavy handed and arrested some people. Um, but they got off. Uh, well, just very recently, uh, sort of a couple of busloads of uh, people going to a London shopping trip way back in November of 2020, when we were in the second lockdown. Well, some of those were arrested and put on trial by the Met Police and yeah for basically breaking lockdown rules and that has been thrown out so there's so many of these things where you know people's cases just been dropped or just getting uh kicked out or yeah this that and everything else so it is really really good news and it just goes to show you that if there is another lockdown you know we, we can just ignore ignore it basically and judging from these court cases uh these fines and whatever being dropped you know we're going to get away with it because after all these sort of evil laws just have nothing to do with freedom they go against as the judge said uh in the case against these uh, um, sort of shopping trippers, uh, they, you know, the police were going against people's freedoms to, of speech, freedom of assembly. And here, here, you know, I'm so glad these courts are making the right decision. So the next bit of good news, and I've seen this on my Telegram groups, and it's actually straight off the... Uh, November Hotel Sierra websites and apparently they and the government have quietly dropped the uh, approval to put the big V into uh, either pregnant women or breastfeeding women so apparently now the government guidance is that those categories of people shouldn't have the thing. So I thought that was a step in the right direction. We should have never been putting this stuff into them in the first place. And, um, and it's taken them a heck of a long time to come to their senses. But that is what's happened. And as I said in the video the other day, these people really are starting to backpedal, aren't they? Um, trying to, uh, no doubt, trying to get themselves out of the way of very long prison sentences that they might suspect is or are on the horizon now. Um, but this backpedaling probably won't save them from that. But it's good that they are backpedaling. And the final good bit of news, and I'm going to name this video after it, Buyer's Regret. And you know the syndrome of Buyer's Regret. It's where you go out and make a purchase, probably a, a bigger purchase. And then you just think, oh, dear, I wish I hadn't bought that thing. Uh, it's just a big old... Uh, uh, lemon or you know I really didn't need to buy it whatever and you know you just regret it well apparently there's this new phrase out now uh, very similar uh, regret is again the second word but the first word is well starts with v so v regret I'm sure you can work out what I'm driving out there and more and more and more and more people are kind of suffering from this sy syndrome, unfortunately. But the good bit of news is, uh, I think uh, Dr. Peter McCullough, who is a top, top, top doctor, uh, he has had so many papers published and yeah, he really is uh, a leading light in that profession. 
and one of the very few of them who have been sort of speaking out about what's been going on in the last couple of years and you know he's a real sort of hero of you know on our side of things and he was talking to someone who was interviewing him i don't know who this person was but it sounds like they've had at least one maybe a couple of the uh sort of things in the arm and obviously is suffering from this v regret and dr mccullough said to him well if you haven't had any uh sort of reactions or any um symptoms uh that we all know these things are sort of giving people uh, if you've gone a year and you haven't had any of that any kind of symptoms it's in all likelihood you're going to be okay so i thought that was fantastic news i know quite a lot of people watching this have had at least one or a couple of them and everybody watching me knows of people who have had them so uh, yeah including myself of course um you know plenty of my own sort of family and friends have had them and i'm sure that's going to be a sort of a big relief for sort of uh, everybody to know that if that's the case you've gone a year without displaying any of the uh, uh, symptoms that a lot of these people are getting uh, it looks like you're going to be okay anyway uh, as i say there's some good bits of news there especially that last thing um, i'm sure that's going to be a relief to many people and i think it's a good note to end on so i'll be back tomorrow tim from fair play now thanks for watching